I'm Mary Trimble here with your readings for the week of May the 14th through May the 20th and what a lot of uh, what a huge energy sh shift we're going to feel this week uh, I'm like tongue twisted okay first of all if you're new welcome um, thank you for stopping by and if you've been here before welcome back and thank you so much for coming back um, last week was amazing all the um, all the comments I will say that after Saturday I won't be able to um, I won't be able to respond to the angel numbers um, it's been work all week but well worth it it was lovely some of the comments were just heartwarming so thank you so much for that um, so please don't forget to like uh, my videos and share them on your social media because YouTube doesn't promote them like they used to so it's really helpful if you would do that and um, comment as I said and uh, subscribe if you haven't already um, so thank you all of you new subscribers and I hope that you enjoy yourself coming back now what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to pick someone who is uh, subscribed to me publicly and who comments and um, likes my video. I'm going to pick someone at random and I'm going to give them a free reading this week. So please just make, and you, you know, you can cross, uh, each time you comment, you're going to get an extra I'm going to draw the name out of a bag so you'll get the extra name put in um, and that will happen uh, in two weeks time when I'm on location in Chicago because I'm going to the um, largest astrology convention in the Western Hemisphere so I shall be attending that for a week and, and I'll pull that live from there um, which will be apropos um, now so please you know I the last time I did this some people just said you know one word I you know it's got you've got to have I, I want to know that you've watched this video all the way through or the any video all the way through and I want you to comment on what it's meant to you so it's going to be the most poignant uh, comments that will be picked to put in the basket in the bag so that's exciting <laughs> anyway a little bit about the astrology before i go into the readings and of course the huge huge news is uranus is moving into taurus on the 15th and at the same time mars is moving into aquarius um so and not only that we have the new moon in taurus now you know first of all I, I mentioned this last week Uranus has an 84 year elliptical cycle right so it's not been in uh, it's not been in um, Taurus since well it was in Taurus 1934 to 1941 turbulent times right uh, World War two happened during that time so now it's going in it's going in on the 15th it's moving now Uranus is this uh, planet of surprises and sudden happenings and it's kind of like lightning right and Taurus is very grounded so it's being pulled down right it's being kind of restricted in a way so it's not very um, comfortable but it's going to have kind of you know it's the planet of eruptions you know we can have uh, a lot of astrologers are saying that it could you know we could have um, uh, we could have you know earthquakes anything kind of uh, uh, anything to do with the earth we could have you know some some shocking um, happenings around the planet so that could happen um, now this is what I think with this energy coming in I, I think we're all going to kind of feel it in different ways um, I think those of you with fixed signs such as Taurus, uh, Leo, um, Aquarius and um, 
come back to me brain oh my goodness Scorpio of course oh my goodness um, so you are really going to kind of feel it you're going to feel that shift and for some of it really depends on where Uranus is um, uh, where it is in your natal chart as to how it's going to affect you in you know in which house um, now what I will say that there are a lot of planets in earth in earth signs at this time at the time of this new moon you've got the Sun and the moon which are always together in the same sign uh, when it's a new moon right you've got the Sun the moon Mercury in Taurus then we have Mars, Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn, although Mars will be leaving Capricorn and moving into Aquarius. It's in the last degrees and then it moves into Aquarius. Um, so this is a very, very powerful new moon and it's kind of exciting. It's very important to put your intentions because it's all about you know it's about material it's about the material world it's about finances it's about the planet it's about kind of abundance if you will so write your intentions down you know de figure out where you want to be in the next six months to a year even five years we listen Uranus is going to be in Taurus for seven years seven long years it's moving out a little bit to Aries for a little bit but then it's back in and it's in for the long haul so um, this is a very interesting time that we're going into but I will say do something do a ritual for the new moon and really put your intentions this is what I really if you get a chance go to the beach put your feet in the sand be grounded do grounded things go put your bare feet in the soil feel the earth you have these receptors in your feet and you know allow the planet to heal you and vice versa allow the energy to flow um, I think it's very important for us to remain grounded during this time and and I think it's very I think we're going to see you know uh, Uranus is a planet of um, innovation rebelliousness I mean there's lots um, there's lots of energy at play here, but I think that, you know, the emphasis is going to be on our planet. How are we treating it? I think new inventions and innovative uh, uh, inventions are going to come out. Uh, and, and I think the focus will be on the planet. I think it's really important to do something to work with these, co-create with these energies, right? So... You know, Uranus will break up the status quo, the stagnancy. Do something different. Put your life in a different direction. Take risks. Go out and shake your world up. Shake it up in how you earn the, um, how you earn money, how you're living, how you treat the planet. It's like make those changes because if you don't make those changes, those changes will be made for you. And Uranus isn't like a smooth transition. It's sudden, sharp. You know shocking changes now if you can embrace the changes you know it'll make life so much easier for you um, so what an exciting week what a huge shift in energy we're really real I'm already feeling it I'm already feeling it for sure um, so I think I think you know think about Taurus and think about you know their key word is I have for Taurus right so it's all about being grateful for what you have it's all about you know do I really need this it's like how much do I use how much do I need it's about conserving I think it's about being realistic it's about being you know and you think about you think about um, you know the bull in a field who's very placid you know eating you know grass or whatever and very walking around really you know nonchalantly and then you put a red fl flag in front of that bull and it goes charging goes nuts so it's about remaining grounded and remaining calm not reacting right it's about keeping your calm in the storm it's always about breathing before you speak or you act it's about responding and not reacting um, so anyway guys uh, this is a 
these readings are general readings. If you would like a personal reading, that information will be below in the description box in the show more section. Uh, I'm also on Instant Go and the link to that will be uh, underneath. And you can ask me a question for like $10. Um, so 24 seven, that's great. You know, download that app, it's amazing. Um, and also, if you want to show me some support, check out my Patreon page. I'm on uh, Patreon and I really want to thank my patrons. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, and what else? Yes, your sun, moon and rising, the information will be down below. And listen, I love to give personal readings, guys. Contact me and thank you to all those who have I love you all. I really appreciate you. And without further ado, let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your reading for May the 14th through May the 20th. Don't forget this is your sun, moon and rising, and this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, the information is below or somewhere on the video. First card out is the King of Cups. Now, he's got everything. Look, he's, you know, he's, he has opulence. He's got, <coughs> excuse me, he's got power. He's got money. And, you know, he's kind of looks a little forlorn uh, sitting here. So he feels like something is missing. I just had this conversation with my friend uh, yesterday. You know, she was kind of, you know, complaining about her life and I said if people look into your life they say wow she's got this she's got that she's got the other and I said but they don't realize what we do to ourselves we constantly think we don't have enough and we compare ourselves with other people and so then we're dissatisfied with what's what's happening in our lives so this look he's coming in and he's saying when he comes into a reading the message is quite simple. It's about, um, he's definitely not focused on what he has. He's thinking about what he hasn't. He's just not feeling completely fulfilled. He's always dissatisfied, always kind of wanting more or something different. Um, so this is, this is really, and, and I get creativity. I get, I'm getting creativity. So it's definitely about focusing on creative projects. I always say that when you're being creative, you're actually channeling the divine, right? Divine source energy. So you will really make a connection and you'll really be in the moment. And look, clarifying it is the three of pentacles. Now, the three of pentacles is about creativity actually but it's also about being an expert in your field so this is about focus right here he's focused on something that he hasn't got and he can't quite put his finger on it because really he has everything <laughs> he's just left with wanting more so it's that whole thing that money can't buy everything that we think that money is the answer to all our problems and when we're really broke it is the answer to our problems I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, sugarcoat that in any way yes we need money to survive for essentials unfortunately our idea of essentials has grown um, so our material uh, focus sometimes is way too much so this is about look focus give your it's about being an expert in your field now it's about giving the time and energy to your craft your either your life purpose your job your business it's about really focusing bringing laser focus in being in the moment being in the moment and being creative, that is going to give you that sense of fulfillment that you are feeling you don't have right now, Cancer. You know, you feel that there's something missing. And it's, we all feel that, darling. We all feel that from time to time. And this card's reminding us that when we focus on what we have and we start being grateful and then we, we really do something creative, 
you know, recently I took up drawing and I said, I've always said I can't draw. And all of a sudden I, I can. I'm liking my drawings. I'm really getting into them. Um, so it's, a, you know, it's about getting into that. It's about, you know, it's about nurturing that side of yourself, right? And you've got the high priestess. Look at that. She's gorgeous. I love that card. You've got the moon in there. The high priestess. And look, the number 11. That's a power number. This is the number two. But look, it looks like an 11 to me. And that's this year. This year is a number 11 year. You can't reduce that in numerology. That's a power number spiritually connected and this card is about spirituality it's about you know I always say that she's like the lady of the lake you know she can be wh whomever she wants to be she can be an old crone little witch she can put on the glamour and look gorgeous the best thing you've ever seen since sliced bread <laughs> she's has all this knowledge and and this wisdom and these magic spells and and when she comes up in a reading, it's there for you guys. You can take that. You can tap into that. And I always say you tap into it through meditation. But any ideas, any dreams you get, take notice. That's, you know, that they're downloads from, from another realm. So pay, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention don't, for the ideas that come in. You are getting those downloads, whether you're meditating or not. But if your mind's not clear, you'll notice them more if you've got a clear mind, if you're meditating. You'll, you'll, you, you'll be um, consciously aware of them. And uh, the next, the, what's clarifying that is a page of cups, darling. Good news, love kind of thing. This is intuition and psychic ability. Oh my God, that's right is intuition and psychic ability because she brings that in right she's bringing that in and this is a message you need to really pay attention to your internal feelings that gut feeling your intuition your psychic ability you're not wrong this week cancer really tap into it well you know you're very kind of that anyway right so you really have to tap into that now the next card you've got is the Eight of Cups. That's a feeling of kind of, you know, something's missing. <laughs> you want something with more meaning and you're like ready to turn your back on all the material things because you're searching for something that you want something more. You know, you want a deeper, deeper connection with people, with spirit, with your guides, with you want to feel um I don't want to say worthy, but I want to say valued. It, and you want to value yourself. So you want to do something that meaning helping people or just looking. It's a looking for something deeper spiritually. That's interesting. And clarifying it, right, is the eight of wands. The energy is going to come in really fast this week. So, you know, things are going to start happening really fast for you. Uh, cancer and you've got the six of swords so some of you are actually going on a journey right this can, this is like a travel card but some of you are moving on from the old you into a whole new phase it, it's like you are you can see your cup as half full you can instead of half empty you know go really trust your intuition you have that power you know, you are a water sign. You have that power. And this is moving on from the old paradigms. This is like, this is going in a direction that's, it's even, you've been kind of stay, you've been in one place and you've kind of not wanted to go forward because it's almost like the fear of the unknown, what's around the corner, right? Well, this is like, get in that boat, darling, sail off. Yes, sometimes the waters are treacherous. That's right. But you have to understand, You look, he's going off to greener pastures. You see that? He's, yeah, it's, you know, we don't know what's around the corner. It could be dangerous, yes. But guess what? It's better than staying where you're at because that's stagnant and it's not a good feeling. You need to move on. You need to branch out. You need to open your arms to the universe and receive the gifts 
that are coming in and that could be a total change in life. Embracing the change, right? That's what that's about. Now, Cancer, I'm going to pull a romance card for the single Cancers out there. Let's see what the romance angels have to say for the single Cancers out there. I have already um, shuffled this before, but one last shuffle won't hurt. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, that's it. Reconciliation. Okay. Someone from your past is returning to your life, Cancer. So that can be, you know, it can be a friendship that you've known for a while and someone's coming in and you're going to have romantic feelings or it can be somebody that you're in a relationship with in the past with whom you're in a relationship with and um, and you could be rekindling that love. It's somebody that you're going to feel comfortable with. It's kind of nice, you know, that somebody's, you don't have to go through the whole thing of, you know, oh, I don't know them, are they, you know, you have to, it's somebody you're going to feel very comfortable with. It's going to be very easy. Cancer. Love is in the air. Okay. This is for the Cancers who are in committed relationships. Let's see what the Romance Angels have to say for you guys. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see what the Romance Angels have to say for Cancers in Committed Relationships. Not one, oh, oh my goodness, that was a lot. Okay, not one came up on the other side, they all, more. I guess they've got a lot of messages for you. What do we have to say? What do the Romance Angels have to say for cancers in a committed relationship here it is <gasps> forgiving and learning i love this card as you release and heal the past your experience you experience more love in your present moments forgiveness darling sometimes you know forgiving and learning from it's like forgiving but learning from it right every 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 lesson has a blessing isn't that it lessons have blessings something like that um have forgiveness in your heart cancer thank you so much for liking this video please like it please share it on your social media we don't get promoted on youtube like we used to so it's very helpful to help us grow our our channel so that we i really appreciate that so share it and comment. I love every uh, comment. I I answer them if they if it's so required. I definitely read them all. And um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all, and I'll see you next week. To inquire about or purchase any of Mary's services, please email Mary at liveinthesolution.com.